So out of the box, the Kaya arm can handle about four, 31 inches from the top of your dock to the top of the water. And that's if you use the mounting bracket, which is, which is here. Um, and that's sort of out of the box without modifying things. But sometimes that's not good enough, not enough a distance in some applications. So there's a couple ways of, of getting some additional distance. The first way is there's an, actually a hole here and a hole here, and you can use those holes to mount that to a ladder so that you can then, if you've got a ladder, you usually mount, you're gonna need it anyway to because you can't jump, go that far. But you can mount it to the, um, you can mount it to the, to the ladder. Other opportunities you can do is just screw this to one of the piers. Many people have piers that drop down and you can screw it to a pier. But if you wanna use the bracket, um, you can easily uh, re-drill the holes that are here, the mounting holes, along the mast and, uh, and get a few more, get up to 48 inches from the top of the top of your dock down to the bottom, down to the top of your water. And I'm going to create a video here that shows how to uh, drill those holes and, um, and get that extra distance. I'm going to show today how you can modify the Kaya arm mast to accommodate about 48 inches from the top of your dock down to the top of your water. And what I'm going to have to do today is drill two, uh, two sets of holes, um, two holes, two additional holes for the mounting brackets, and two holes for um, the screws that mount sideways or, horizon or horizontally into the dock to keep the, the Kai arm uh, from mass from moving. And so what I've done is I've, I've come down from the top about eight, eight inches. I've marked one set at eight inches and one set at 12. And, both sides. and what I used is at the 8 inch mark, I used my square and I put a little, I've used my, um, my pencil, I've marked a line and I've marked a line and I've carefully then I've gone back and I've checked to make sure that it's right. Then I used my, I've used a, um, a center punch. And the center punch, what the center punch does is it prevents drill wander. So I've marked the spot and I've given it a good tap, okay, like that, that will create a divot for me to start my drill in. And because I need to be, it has to be very much in the middle and perfectly centered, a quarter inch and in, perfectly centered in this flange. What I'm going to use is just an eighth inch pilot hole just to, to get that started in the right spot because when you start up with a bigger bit, sometimes that also wanders. It wanders. So again, I've, I've marked a set that's down four inch, uh, sorry, eight inches and a set that's down 12 inches. I've then uh, used my, my square to squ uh, draw a line from the flange, across the flange on both sides. And I've checked then to make sure I've got the same distance down from the top, same distance and they're perfect. And then these ones aren't so critical, but they need to be in the center because that's where you drive the screws. But if these ones aren't perfectly centered, then when you try to attach the nuts, okay, the, these, uh, these screws go up from the bottom and the nuts will start to interfere here. So it's very, very important that we get that, that in the center. And that's the reason for me taking some time today and using a center punch. And you can buy one of these at Home Depot or whatever. It's pretty cheap and everybody needs one for the toolbox anyway. Uh, if you don't have one, you could use a sharp nail. Though I don't like that as much, but maybe a, sharp, a screw is a little sharper. But it's really important to get it right in the center. And again, next thing is just to start with a small bit to get a, a, a pilot hole. And then we come back with the right size bit after that. So I'll shut it off. I'll do my drilling and I'll come back. Okay, you can see here I've drilled the two holes nice, the, the two sets of holes. And I'm just going to flip over, I'm going to attach the bracket. Okay, so I just flip over and uh, I've got the thing started. I have to think about this. This is the downside, so this is the bracket. And I just put those uh, nicely through there. I should have, here I can do it. All right, and then what I do is I just put my, there's the nylock part down to put that down first, and just put this underneath. And I just turn that on. And uh, I can get that put on, it fits nicely. And you can see the thing spins. I did not I did a really good job of centering those in the hole, in the uh, mast, so there's no problem. And I have to use my 7 16 inch wrench. Anyway, 7 16 inch wrench, I'll tighten this up and then I'll mount this. Now, you know, this is an extreme case. Uh, that will give me, as I said, that'll give me a little more than 40, that'll give me a little bit 48 inches, 40, 49, maybe 50 inches from the top of the dock to the water. You know, many cases you don't need that. You know, you can drill it down a little bit further. Um, you know, this, this would only give me, for example, you know, seven inches projecting above your dock. 
and I probably so you want to get it to the right spot but I'm trying to sort of an extreme case for you today but you saw how the method the, the methodology is, is to really precisely measure uh, and get those mounted in the center of the flange and make you just bring it up a little closer here so folks understand when I'm talking about the center it's very important that if you don't you mount these in the set get this in the center of the flange if you don't these screws okay these nuts will jam will interfere with this and you won't get it mounted so again measure twice cut once measure twice drill once use the 1 8 inch force to get it to use the use the um use the center punch to mark it nicely use the 1 8 inch to get it nicely centered and then follow up with your quarter inch and it'll be perfect okay i thought i would just show a little bit um the difference so you can see that it's very important to get these holes in the center of this flange here's an example that i did just for illustration purposes of drilling it in the wrong spot if i were to try and put the nut on the, you know imagine the screw coming up here the nut's going to jam against here you're not going to get that nut on and you're actually going to try and you're ruining it trying to get it on so and if that happens to you don't don't sweat it too much just go and start all over again drill it down a little bit further to give yourself a little more room you're not really weakening things that much uh, but but be careful measure down again measure properly use the use the thing here use the uh square mark it off nicely mark it off nicely on both sides and find the center punch and find the right center in here and then start with that eighth inch drill and you'll end up with a perfect job just like this one see how whoops there we go there's that side there's that side it all works out just take your time mark it use the proper tools and you'll get it right Thank you very much for watching today. Happy paddling.